Hey, baby. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's right, honey. I got off of work early. Boss said that we can take the rest of the day off since it's Christmas. So here I am. <laughs> Come here, sweetie. <laughs> Are you excited for Christmas tomorrow? Because I sure am. And I'm excited for New Year's, too. Gosh. 2023 is going to be such a great year. I can feel it. This year was amazing. Gosh, so much happened. So many amazing things happened. Like, we got our own house together. We got new jobs. We went on more dates. Made so many new memories. And we went on that amazing vacation to the infamous Battle Zone, Ohio. <laughs> but, uh, you know, with this year coming to a close, just like all the other ones, a new year will begin. Gosh, this year went by really fast, didn't it? It feels like just yesterday we were getting ready for 2022. Now, it's almost over. No, it takes me back to the days you and I first met. It was early 2020. We were in Mr. Kang's class. Yeah, it was American history. I had no one else to do a group project with. I was kind of left hanging. But you decided that you wanted to partner with me, even though you had a group. You had a group that was well-connected and put together. But you chose to go with me. Yeah, I never talked a lot. I was just really quiet. You were the one that did most of the talking. Actually, you were the one who did all the talking. I never spoke once when we presented the project. I mean, yeah, I did talk with you, discussing what we could put onto the project, but I did most of the work, and when we presented, I said nothing. You did the talking, so... Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> um... I remember, though, when I went home, I felt it felt like I had some type of a connection with you, even though we weren't entirely friends yet. Still, I felt different when I, where I was around you. You were also wanting to help me break out of my shell. But you also respected my boundaries and left me alone whenever I wanted to be. You wanted to help me break out of my shell, but I was so hesitant and scared to. I had caged my brain from wanting to branch out more that I just kept myself locked up. But the more times I spent time in class with you, the more I started to feel more willing to do it. But dang, I still remember when I finally got the courage to talk to you properly. I remember we were talking about the new Sonic movie that came out. How we were theorizing who was going to be in the sequel. And that was when the COVID pandemic started to spread like wildfire. I remember getting that email on my phone. And then the principal announcing that schools will be closing for two weeks. Little did we know that those two weeks ended up turning into two summer vacations. We had no clue how serious it was going to be. We just thought it was going to blow over. We thought it was just going to pass through and then we'd go back to normal, but... No. That's not at all what happened. It changed the entire world. It changed the world and how we view it. But you know, I think the lockdowns were what strengthened our relationship. It made it a lot easier for me to talk to you, since you weren't there in person. <laughs> I remember after we finished our class session, you messaged me and asked me out on a virtual date. We played so much Minecraft together. We still have that world open that we started back in 2020. We still play on it to this day. <laughs> Do you remember when I was um, mining straight down and you tried to warn me that there was a ravine right underneath me, but by the time you had warned me, I had already broken the last block. And then I ended up water bucketing. Oh my gosh, that was, that was a fantastic moment. I guess when things started to go back to normal, I kind of fell back to my old habits. Barely socialized, I didn't talk much, I just stayed quiet. 
I would only speak whenever I was spoken to. Even with the masks, I still was just really quiet. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to... I didn't want to socialize. But not with you. No. The connections we built online made me feel a lot closer to you, and it felt like that I could talk with you. You were the only person that I ever was able to properly talk to. And it was just... It was an amazing feeling to be able to have someone that you really loved be able to understand you and someone you trust that you can talk to and you don't have to worry about them backstabbing you. I guess that's why I was so excited to finally have you as my girlfriend. I knew I could trust you and I knew I loved you. And I was so glad that I was able to have you in my arms. I love you too. But it's crazy. Two years ago, we were terrified of this new disease, scared of what it'll become, thinking maybe it'll be the start of the zombie apocalypse. We wore masks everywhere we went. Now, two years later, we live on our own. The virus is now easily treatable. And it's not even a big deal. It's about as irrelevant as the flu. Well, I mean, the flu is still serious, but y you know what I mean. It's like just yearly, you just get your shot and then go on. But I'm glad that remote learning happened. Because if it wasn't for that, I never would have grown comfortable around you. Oh, that reminds me. I, uh, I wanted to tell you something. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I hope you'll, I hope you'll be excited for this, but I made a new friend. Yeah, his name's Matthew. He's one of my coworkers and he's really nice. He helped me with some of the clients and my work. I made a new friend. Aren't you proud of me? Yay! I'm proud of myself too. I'm glad I got the courage to talk to him. You know, it it felt it felt great to do that. It felt great to finally be able to talk to someone and be out of my shell. I mean, it felt weird. It was kind of scary at first, but when I finally got to know him and I was able to easily connect with him, I was I had no problem. Now I can talk with him. Just like how I can talk with you. I mean, the way I talk to you will never be talked to by any to anyone else. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. But still, I can't believe I finally was able to make a new friend. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you you have a present for me? Oh, sweetie, that's so kind of you. We can put it under the tree, and we can open. Huh? Oh. You want me to open it now? Well, uh, okay. Oh, wow. A box. It's what I've always wanted. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Open it, open it. It's kind of hard. Did you tape this? You did a really good job. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, why did you have to package this so dang tightly? Ah. No, no, I don't need scissors. I can do this on my own. I'm a big strong boy. I'm a big... Yeah. There we go. I got it. Okay. Let's see what you got me. Is that... Is that a sweater? Oh, it's so cute. It looks really nice. Did you sew this? Your grandma helped you. That's so sweet of her. You both did a fantastic job. Of course I'm gonna put it on. Just a second, hold on. How do I look? <laughs> I am not ever going to lose this. It's a little itchy, but I can get used to it. Thank you, sweetie. It is comfy, yeah. And what's this? Is this... Is this a memory book? Oh. Sweetie. Look at... Oh my gosh. Did you have all of these photos printed? 
Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's our first photo that we ever took of us in a video call. And there's us wearing masks. Us grabbing some coffee. Oh, look at that one. That was when we went to the zoo. And that was when I got my hat eaten by that giraffe. He still owes me a new hat. Oh my gosh. All these memories we made together. There's graduation. <laughs> that was when I picked you up. My gosh, I... I don't know how I got that much strength, but... I somehow was able to pick you up easily. I mean, yeah, I'm, I can pick you up now. But that was the first time I ever did that. And you were caught completely by surprise, as was I. Hey. The rest of these are blank. Wait. They're for future memories? Well... I can't wait to fill the empty slots. I have a feeling that 2023 is going to be full of great memories. And as will 2024 and 2025, and so on and so on. I think we're going to have a fantastic year. You know, that reminds me. I actually have a Christmas gift for you, an early one too. Now... Before I give you this gift, I want you to understand something, sweetie. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And you mean the absolute world to me. I don't think I could see myself living here without you. You've supported me through thick and thin. You've been by my side. In sickness and in health. No matter what I've been through, no matter what I've done, you've always stuck by my side. And I cherish every moment I spend with you. So, here's your gift. Go ahead, open it. Yeah, it's a box, but it's not just any box. Go, go ahead and open it up. Uh. Baby girl, my loving high school sweetheart, will you marry me? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, come here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I love you. Oh, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, hey. Hey, it's okay. Baby, it's okay. Hey, don't cry. You're gonna make me cry if you keep crying. I love you too. I've been keeping that a secret for a while. And don't worry. I, uh... I asked for your parents' blessing. They're on board, and they know. So, um... We aren't boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. We're, um, we're now fiancés. Here, give me your hand. I really hope I got the right size. I got the right size. Thank goodness. That saves me a trip to the jewelry store. I'm glad you like it. So, um... What do you say we have one of those core memories in 2023 be our wedding? You like the sound of that? Awesome. I'm glad. Come here, baby. Merry Christmas, sweetie. I can't wait to be your husband. And I can't wait for you to be my wife. I will love you till the end of time. Hey. I actually got some Christmas cookies. Yeah, Mama went ahead and cooked them for us. I stopped by her house and picked them up before I came here. Yeah. Come on. Let's uh let's go enjoy some nice Christmas cookies. 
my soon-to-be wife. Merry Christmas, my love. Mm -hmm.